Imagine, if you will, the soft echo of hooves clattering on cobblestone streets. An enveloping stillness welcomes you as you step down from the horse-drawn carriage, your boots making a soft crunch on the gravel beneath. The air is thick with a sense of time gone by, a rich tapestry of history that clings to the very stones beneath your feet. Beyond the ancient gates, a vast courtyard stretches out, blanketed in the soft, wavering glow of countless candles. Their flickering flames dance upon the stone, casting long shadows that reach out like the tendrils of a forgotten past. Against the dark velvet of the night sky, the towering castle walls loom, their weathered stones whispering tales of bygone eras. Welcome, dear traveller, to the castle of Edenshire. Nestled in the heart of an enchanted forest, it's a monument to the medieval past, a relic that has stood the test of time for over a thousand years. Here, the past and present coalesce, the old stones bearing the marks of time and history, each chiseled line a testament to the stories that have unfolded within these castle walls. The courtyard, a sprawling expanse of cobblestones, is dotted with weather-beaten statues and a fountain that murmurs a lullaby of ancient times. The gentle sound of water splashing against stone merges with the distant chirping of crickets, creating a harmonious symphony that echoes the castle's ageless rhythm. Each flicker of candlelight, each whisper of the wind, seems to breathe life into this place, stirring the echoes of laughter, whispers of secret conversations, and the clatter of royal feasts that once filled this courtyard. It's as if the castle itself is a living, breathing entity, its heartbeat echoing through the centuries. As you stand there, awestruck, a soft whisper of a tale from yesteryears beckons you closer. The castle of Edenshire, bathed in the soft glow of candlelight, has a story to tell, a tale woven from the threads of time. And as the candles flicker against the night, their soft glow illuminating the ancient stones, the castle begins to share its secrets, inviting you on a journey into its mystical past. As the castle doors creak open, the air turns crisp with the tales that lie within. Picture, if you will, a time when this castle was not just stone and silence, but a bustling hub of life and laughter. At the heart of it all, a king and queen, their love as vast as the kingdom they ruled. Their names were King Aelred and Queen Alara, rulers of a realm so prosperous, it was said that even the moon envied its glow. Aelred, a king of wisdom and strength, was as steadfast as the castle walls themselves. His queen, Ilara, was a beacon of compassion and grace, her laughter said to rival the sweetest melodies of the lark. Their love story was one for the ages, a bond formed not just in the heart, but in the very fabric of their rule. They governed with a kindness that won them the adoration of their people, their reign marked by prosperity and peace. Imagine the castle in those halcyon days, filled with the heady scent of feasting and the warm glow of a thousand dancing flames. The air would ring with the sound of laughter and lively conversation, the stone walls echoing the joyous tales of the kingdom's triumphs. There were grand banquets that lasted until dawn, the courtyard bathed in the soft glow of candlelight. Knights would regale the court with tales of their heroic deeds, while the minstrels played tunes that made hearts soar. The king and queen, always at the center of it all, basking in the love of their people. This was a time of abundance, a golden age where the kingdom thrived under the rule of King Aelred and Queen Alara. The castle was a beacon of hope, a testament to the power of love and unity. But as with all good things, darkness soon found its way to the castle's heart. In the quiet of the night, a shadow fell upon the castle, a curse that would change its fate forever. Once upon a time, the castle was a beacon of prosperity, a symbol of the kingdom's strength. But in the heart of the nearby forest dwelled an envious witch, known by all as Morwen. She had been wronged by the king, banished from the kingdom for her unconventional ways. As her heart filled with resentment, she decided to take revenge. Morwen was not just any witch, she was a master of dark magic. With a vial of dragon's blood, a feather of a phoenix, and a tear of a unicorn, she concocted a formidable curse. Under the silvery glow of the full moon, she cast the curse upon the castle. The once vibrant castle was shrouded in an eerie darkness, the air filled with an inexplicable chill. The castle, once full of laughter and merriment, fell silent. The once blooming gardens withered, the walls turned cold and the fountains ran dry. The inhabitants of the castle were trapped within, their spirits tied to the cursed land. They wandered the halls as spectral figures, their voices nothing more than whispers on the wind. 
The king, a just and noble ruler, was the most affected. He could do nothing but watch as his beloved castle, his kingdom, crumbled under the weight of the curse. His heart heavy with sorrow, he was a mere shadow of the man he once was. And yet, in the midst of this despair, there was a glimmer of hope. The castle's ancient prophecies spoke of a hero, a chosen one who would lift the curse and restore the kingdom to its former glory. The inhabitants clung to this prophecy, their spirits flickering like the candles that lit the castle's halls. As the castle fell into despair, so did the kingdom, but hope was not entirely lost. The tale of the curse was a grim chapter in the castle's history, a stark reminder of the power of envy and revenge. But as the night is darkest before the dawn, so too was the kingdom's despair before the arrival of hope. In the face of despair, a glimmer of hope emerged, a prophecy of a hero who would break the curse. Our tale now turns towards the edge of the kingdom where, on a windswept moor, a lone figure stood, our hero. They were a person of humble beginnings, yet their heart was filled with courage and determination, ready to face any peril in their quest to free the castle from the curse. Their journey was fraught with trials and tribulations. They traversed treacherous landscapes, scaled towering mountains and braved the harshest weather. Along the way they encountered creatures of all shapes and sizes, some friendly, others not so much. But each challenge faced, each obstacle overcome, only made our hero stronger, more resolute. Finally, the day of the final confrontation arrived. The castle stood before them, its once grand silhouette now marred by the witch's curse. The hero took a deep breath, steeled their nerves, and stepped into the castle courtyard. There they confronted the witch, a battle of wills ensued, a test of courage against malevolent power. The witch cackled, her voice echoing through the courtyard, but our hero stood undaunted. They brandished their weapon, a sword of pure light, forged from the love and hope of the people. The witch recoiled, her wicked laugh dissipating into the night. The hero struck, the sword cutting through the darkness, shattering the curse. A wave of relief washed over the castle. The once ominous walls now gleamed in the soft candlelight. The fountain's melody could be heard once more, and the crickets resumed their nightly serenade. The castle was alive with joyous celebrations. Laughter and music filled the air as the people thanked their hero, their savior. The hero stood amidst the revelry, their heart filled with joy. They had faced the darkness and emerged victorious. They had proven that even in the face of despair, hope could still triumph, that love could still conquer all. With the curse lifted, the castle was once again a beacon of hope, a testament to love's triumph over darkness. Today the castle stands tall, its walls echoing the tales of old. The castle, once the backdrop of a legendary tale, is now a sentinel of resilience and hope. Its stone walls, though weathered by time, remain as steadfast as the day they were first raised. Each tower, each parapet, every arch and pillar, bears the imprint of history and the indomitable spirit of those who once called this place home. The castle has become more than just a monument of stone and mortar. It's a symbol that resonates deeply within the heart of the community. You see, the legend of this castle has seeped into the very fabric of local culture and traditions. The stories of the castle's glory days, its curse, the epic battle and ultimate triumph are passed down from generation to generation, as tangible as the castle's cobblestones under their feet. On special occasions, the castle's courtyard is bathed in the soft glow of a thousand candles, just as it was in the days of yore. The flickering light dances on the castle walls, casting long shadows that seem to bring the ancient tales to life. The distant sounds of a fountain and chirping crickets lend an enchanting soundtrack to these magical nights, stirring the imagination and sparking a sense of wonder. The castle's legacy has also influenced local art and literature. Ballads are sung in its honor, and tales of its storied past are woven into tapestries of words and colors. The castle has become a muse, inspiring creativity and a deep appreciation for the rich heritage that it embodies. As we step back and gaze upon the castle, we see more than just a grand architectural masterpiece. We see a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of stories. We see a beacon of hope that, despite the trials and tribulations of the past, stands tall and proud, a monument to triumph over adversity. As our journey ends, the castle remains, a silent storyteller whispering tales of love, despair and triumph under the soft glow of the moonlight.